So let me start off with a question. Uh, this is probably something we have, uh, every one of us uh, have faced. Uh, uh, if you have done uh, uh, applications that go to production and uh, especially enterprise applications and stuff. So my first question is, uh, imagine the day a new developer joins your team. What happens? We end up uh, spending, uh, probably uh, we'll have a ramp up plan for the new guy, but we always uh, tend to end up uh, taking more time than what we actually planned, uh, setting up their tools, development, en development environments, and uh, uh, configurations and etc. And the other thing is, uh, imagine a situation where another developer of your of your team uh, reports a tricky bug that uh, you cannot uh, reproduce in your uh, own machine. So uh, the problem here is uh, 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 environment uh, inconsistency. So, so what's the solution? Is there a solution for this? Anyone could take a guess. Any tools? Come on, you guys might, must be familiar with this. So it's nothing uh, simple, uh, DevOps. So the one uh, popular tool is uh, Docker, which uh, everyone is uh, talking about these days. It's an open platform for software uh, con uh, containerization, and it's uh, designed uh, uh, for fast delivery of applications. And it allows lightweight, portable, and uh, self-contained uh, applications. And of course, the next is uh, we got uh, Vagrant. Vagrant is actually like the big brother of uh, Docker. It uh, started back in 2010, and uh, Docker was uh, followed by uh, Vagrant. So uh, Vagrant allows you to create and configure lightweight, uh, reproducible, and portable development environments. And it actually, uh, if you look at it, it wraps around uh, virtualization software apart from its support for configuration management. When, in, when Vagrant uh, initially came, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it only supported uh, uh, VirtualBox, so it acts uh, as a wrapper for uh, uh, VirtualBox, where you can uh, configure your boxes, and uh, Vagrant will interface with the VirtualBox and then uh, uh, build it and uh, launch it for you. So now, of course, Vagrant has evolved to support uh, uh, much more providers, like uh, uh, which I can uh, go through in the next slides. So, so Vagrant, uh, these commands you see uh, up here are the ones uh, you end up using uh, most of the time, almost 60 or 70 percent of the time if you're using Vagrant. So simple as this. So uh, if you take these three commands, you can even uh, merge these uh, first and second command to uh, a single command, so then uh, afterwards you only got uh, Vagrant up. So I have actually chosen, to, uh, chosen Vagrant uh, for, this, uh, uh, for my talk for today. Uh, Vagrant, uh, if I uh, go a little uh, deep into Vagrant, it's a command line uh, VM management uh, tool for developers, as I told you earlier, and it enables uh, portable development environments. So whatever you uh, configure once, uh, you, whatever the a uh, Vagrant project you uh, create, it is 100% uh, portable. You can uh, send it anywhere. Anybody can uh, just hit Vagrant up, and then uh, they are ready to go. No, no configurations, no, no software installations, and etc. So, and it's, uh, it's an open source software available from uh, uh, Michael's uh, uh, Vagrant, uh, uh, the GitHub page. And uh, as I told you, the Vag uh, Vagrant has evolved to uh, provide, uh, 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 to adopt uh, more and more providers. Now it has uh, VMware, uh, VirtualBox, AWS, and even you can uh, host it in uh, Google App Engine. So uh, it evolves to support uh, uh, more providers. And uh, provisioners, Vagrant uh, uh, Puppet is actually something uh, which is managed by uh, the inventors of. Uh, uh, Vagrant, and there are other pro pro uh, popular uh, provisioning services like uh, Ansible, Chef, and Salt. So all of them are supported by uh, Vagrant, and Vagrant even provides support for uh, Docker if you're using uh, Docker. So for my demo for, uh, my, my, for today is uh, provisioning a, a PHP development uh, box uh, with uh, Vagrant. Before we start, uh, we need to make sure we have uh, VirtualBox, because I told you it, uh, Vagrant is uh, running around uh, 
so I'm uh, a VM manager. So I have chosen a virtual box because it's open source. So I can uh, use it for a talk like this. So, and of course, you need to have a uh, vagrant. Uh, so let's see. If you have used Vagrant, uh, the downside of Vagrant is that it's a bit slower than Docker. So let's, uh, I'll show you, I got, uh, I got VirtualBox set up here. It's uh, pretty easy, that's why I didn't go through installation instructions or anything, so it's, uh, you just uh, go to VirtualBox.org and then you can uh, uh, get it downloaded and uh, uh, install it. It's uh, very straightforward. So here we, you see nothing is there in my, uh, uh, I don't have any uh, virtual machines running at the moment, so I'll just uh, keep this uh, screen aside. And then I'll take up my terminal. Let's see whether I got uh, uh, Vagrant here. You can type Vagrant V to check the version of Vagrant. So I'm running uh, Vagrant 1.7.3. I wonder whether you can see the window. Yeah, so that's about it. And uh, what I'm going to demo you today is uh, hosted at uh, github.com. You can all uh, get it uh, from my GitHub account. So it's at uh, github.com slash hamzin. Go to repositories. You can find Vagrant PHP box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this to my uh, uh, desktop. So you hit a git clone. So it'll get, uh, it'll clone the git repository to your desktop. Once that is there, you can, uh, uh, all that you need to do is uh, type uh, vagrant up to uh, uh, launch this uh, PHP box. So I'll, I'll hit that up, but it's, as I told you, it's going to take some time because uh, booting a, 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 a vagrant box uh, takes a lot of time. Sorry, I need to go to my repository. So from here, I can type uh, vagrant up. So it should do it. So it's going to take some time till it, uh, till it brings it up. I'll, I'll go through the uh, rest of my uh, slides. Uh, so the uh, vagrant file, uh, it's like the holy grail of these, uh, uh, whatever the uh, vagrant boxes that you create. Uh, 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 in what I have used, I have uh, uh, internally referred a shell script to basically set up uh, the MAM stack uh, using a shell script. So it installs uh, Apache, PHP, MySQL, and PHP MyAdmin, all those stuff with default con configurations. Uh, I can probably show you the file from GitHub. So here you'll see the, the box is uh, now running. I think still the uh, still it's not up yet, so we can uh, go through the vagrant file here. So this is all what I got in my uh, vagrant file. It uh, it actually uses a Ubuntu uh, Trusty 64 uh, box, and uh, the provision uh, for provisioning I have used a shell script. It's called Bootstrap.sh. So and the port I have used for my application is. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. It, I know it's, it looks very weird, so I wanted uh, uh, I wanted a, a, a simple one, so I have chosen uh, one, two, three, four. So if you go to uh, my shell script, I install all the tools that are required for this and dependencies and stuff. So here you can see it uh, uh, install a lot of lot of stuff like uh, Vim, Apache 2, and uh, so on. So it does uh, everything, and it even uh, starts the server and the 
uh, Nginx and stuff. So then uh, it's, uh, everything is there with uh, PHP 5. So, uh, and also I've set up a PHP my admin, uh, my admin for if you want to use uh, MySQL. I'm actually using MySQL here. And uh, so that's all. So once this is done, we should be able to uh, uh, work with the repo. Till it sets up, I think I can show you some uh, interesting stuff for you. Here I got some uh, generative art, uh, which I have made with uh, uh, processing JS. You must be familiar with uh, processing JS, so, so some uh, visualizations I have created. Uh, you can, of course, make it interactive as well. So. This is another one. So you can see how slow uh, uh, it is to uh, boot up a vagrant box. So this is the downside, and uh, this is why uh, if you check uh, Google Trends and stuff, uh, Docker is uh, Docker has started to pick up now, and there are more tools coming up. I think uh, even last week there was uh, a new tool by Google themselves. Uh, it was it's called uh, Kubernetes, and there was a conference as well. I think so you can check it. Uh, so this is a uh, Kubernetes by Google. So uh, Docker is actually uh, Docker was implemented in uh, uh, GoLang. So Google has a close eye with that as well. So so that's it. Uh, you can see uh, how I can run my uh, PHP application. So uh, it's. Uh, uh, some of the provisioning is uh, still going on, but I can still uh, run it because uh, Apache is uh, up and running now. So uh, this is uh, this is all what you need. So you see, uh, you'll see I didn't install any of the software or anything, and uh, I, de I didn't even uh, follow any convention like to uh, uh, do your do project inside a www directory or anything. No convention whatsoever. Everything is up to you. You can set it up. Uh, and you can refer the Vagrant file I have used for that. So from anywhere, you can, uh, you can run a PHP or whatever the project you want. So, OK, let's uh, continue with the rest of the presentation. Once that is set up, I need to uh, go to this particular URL called uh, localhost. Uh, 1234 slash uh, first run to set up my uh, database and tables uh, so that uh, you can uh, run the application in its uh, full glory. So we have set up, uh, we have gone through all these uh, steps here. And uh, yeah. So you saw the application. And uh, let me uh, touch on uh, some additional stuff. Uh, let's say you want to, you don't want this kind of thing where you start from uh, someone's. Uh, 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 a vagrant project, and uh, you, you actually want to uh, start it from scratch. So in that case, what you can do is uh, you can uh, create your directory and go there and uh, uh, vagrant in it. And uh, you can define the, the box that you want to use for your project. Here, I have, uh, for, for example, I've taken a DBN slash VZ64. These uh, boxes are actually uh, images. You can find it. Uh, uh, there's a website where you can uh, uh, find all of that. I'll share uh, in my uh, uh, in my uh, description for this uh, speaker deck uh, presentation. And uh, you can uh, hit Vagrant up afterwards, and you'll be getting your Vagrant uh, project up and running. So what what happens if you have uh, changed? Uh, if you have made some uh, uh, changes to your Vagrant file uh, after you have uh, uh, launched it. So in that case, uh, you might see uh, the changes aren't getting picked up. So in that case, you actually have to reload the, uh, the, the provisioner so that uh, you'll need to uh, uh, do a vagrant reload and uh, followed by vagrant up. Uh, so everything is done. And now what I can do is, uh, in order to uh, set up my uh, database, I need to. Uh, Go here so you can see uh, the DB is created and the tables are created. So now if I go here and I can sign up, let's say jsconf.mail.com, and I 
type one, two, three, four, five, six, and sign up. So you can log in. If I type something which is not there, and uh, try to sign in to say because it's not there in the DB, so. If I type the exact uh, password, you should be able to log into our machine. So that's it. And uh, uh, it's a very simple thing with the uh, session management and stuff. Uh, it's like a boilerplate plate where you can start your uh, PHP projects with uh, Vagrant. So that's what I wanted to show you. And uh, of course, I'm uh, still, uh, it's a work in progress uh, repository where I want to add uh, more uh, JavaScript uh, goodness for that. So uh, I'll be soon uh, uh, adding a compass and stuff for uh, uh, SaaS. And then uh, I'll be using uh, some of the other tools uh, with uh, Node.js as well to automate uh, some of the uh, processes with, uh, with the UI part of this. So, so that's about it. And uh, you can get the code from my GitHub page. Uh, it's at uh, github.com slash hamzin slash vagrant php box. And, uh, and I'll also do a showdown of uh, vagrant and docker. Uh, I chose vagrant because uh, uh, vagrant was the first to come. And if you, if you think about the questions uh, that I asked you at the beginning, uh, to s if you just want to sort uh, those two uh, 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 problems, vagrant is uh, good enough in that case. But if you want, if you want to do more, of course, you can use uh, Docker. And Docker is much more faster than uh, Vagrant. So uh, both of these are actually uh, utilizing uh, uh, LXC, there's uh, Linux containers. And uh, both of them are built on top of, uh, uh, both, of both of them uh, allow you to configure uh, portable development environments. But uh, the focus of uh, Docker is on uh, production and deployment, whereas uh, Vagrant focuses on portable development environments. So uh, Docker does more than uh, Vagrant. And uh, with Vagrant, we are using virtualization and Vagrant interfaces with uh, VM managers and uh, sets up your boxes and uh, builds it and uh, runs it for you. Whereas uh, Docker, uh, we come across a concept called containers. Uh, and they are not virtual machines. These containers run uh, just like uh, applications. And uh, as I told you, Vagrant was invented in uh, January 2010, and Docker was, uh, first release was in uh, March 2013. So thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, hope you enjoy the evening and rest of the talk. Uh, you can uh, follow me on these channels and, and all of those. My handle is at Hamzin. And if you have anything, if you want to talk, uh, talk to me. Or if you want to discuss anything, you can always uh, reach out to me on this. Uh, thanks a lot for your time. I enjoyed it. See you soon.